In this video, I'm going to give you a more in-depth overview of the Manage Timesheets application. Go to Time and Expense, Time, Timesheets, and Manage Timesheets. This page will automatically default to the open pay period. You can see the pay period ending date, the status, and your name here. Notice that this header section is in form view. We can click table to change the view to table view. One of the nice new features of this upgrade is the ability to customize your view and change the layout of your screen. For instance, in the timesheet line section, you can drag your columns and place them in a different order if you'd like. You have the ability to hide a specific column if it's not one you think you would like to see. You can make this section smaller, giving you more room for viewing more days at one time. And you can change the width of each of the columns so that you can make more room to see more days as well. To view your leave transaction history, click on the link for leave. Based on which line you're clicked on, you can see all of your transaction history. We'll make a few more changes and then we'll save this view as your default view. I'm going to get rid of my ID because I don't really need to see that. I don't need to see my org. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And then close. You can see my ID and my org went away. I'm going to make this section just a little bit more smaller and resize this column and this column. Now I'm ready to save this customized view so that every time I go to my Manage Timesheets page, this is how it will automatically default. Click on the little person icon and right here you see application layout changes click save and that should save your view now we'll test it to see if it saved we'll click on the X to close out and then we'll go back into manage timesheets and I should have the same layout and I do at any time you can also reset that back to the normal default by clicking reset and there you have it it will show the way it naturally defaults